Haley from WanodRabbits.com and in today's video I am going to be showing you how I garden for my bunnies. So take this information with a grain of salt because I've had rabbits for nine years and every year I try to garden for them and every year I fail. So this year specifically I am doing an indoor garden which I actually have never done before. So we're gonna try planting indoors this year and maybe I will actually keep it alive. So let's go ahead and get started. Also, aren't these gloves super fabulous? They're like way too big for me and I honestly don't even think they're gardening gloves, but they were the only ones I could find. <laughs> so the first thing I went ahead and got was some dirt. So I have a five gallon bucket full of dirt. It was an organic dirt. It had like a bunch of like organic stuff like worm castings and all of that good stuff. And then we've got some pots. So these are actually super cheap at Walmart or where else have I gotten them? I think craft stores have them too. They're just the basic um, terracotta pots. <laughs> I didn't remember the name of it. However, you do have to buy this separately. So if you want a water guard, I don't really know what it's called, but basically if you put too much water in your pot, it'll leak through into the plate. So I got those because I am doing this indoors and I didn't want to end up with a flood because like I said, I'm bad at gardening. So there's a very good chance I will overwater it. <laughs> I'm really nervous, but let's just try and see how this goes. So the first two things I actually have here are, pretty sure these are green leaf lettuce. So I bought some green leaf lettuce for the bunnies to eat and then the little stubs left over, I put it in some water with some bunny poop. I don't know if that helped. And it's starting to grow new leaves. So this one, I think I did it wrong. I don't think I left enough of the stem. So there isn't as many like leaves growing. Uh, this one's definitely doing much better, but they say you're supposed to like transplant it into dirt once they start growing. So I don't know, we're gonna go ahead and try that. Okay, first step, fill this with dirt. I think, yes. Um, I think you crumble the dirt. It's like all like stuck together. Okay, this is gonna be really messy. Okay, bring the pot over to the dirt. Oh, yuck, what? I'm getting dirt all over the outside of this pot. I should have brought a shovel or something. Do I need a shovel? Uh, so I'm going to start with this one because if I mess up, it's not a huge deal because I already started doing it wrong in the first place. So I'm just going to take it out of this water thing and whew, I'm going to have to sit up higher for this. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and make a hole. This is really hard to do. These gloves are like super insulated. I think they might be for winter. I don't know what kind of gloves these are. Okay. So I made a hole, I've gotta make it big enough for this to fit in. Okay, goes in, and then kind of push the dirt around it. And then I'm gonna add some more dirt. Oh my goodness, <laughs> I'm making a huge mess. Okay, stay in the pot. Any of you like green thumbs out there are gonna be like, what are you doing? Are you supposed to blow on plants? <laughs> There's a lot of dirt on here. Oh, I think I forgot a step. So I've got ooh, this container over here uh, with bun poop in it. I think I was supposed to mix this with the dirt, but I am just going to put some around it. I'll like experiment and see, oh, I thought I could crumble this up easier. Okay, first one done. So beautiful. Um, it is dirty though. I'm gonna have to wash these off. Oops, oh, take the stickers off. Should have done this before. Let's go ahead and scoop some dirt in here. Then I made a hole. I'm gonna stick this in. Oh, I have an idea. Let's put the bunny poop in the bottom of the hole. So that way the bottom of it has a lot of bunny poop. I bet that's how you're supposed to do it. Put the dirt in the dirt. Okay. And then push the dirt down around it. This soil is already super moist. Like, I don't 
know if I'm even gonna need to water it today. All right, there we go. Ugh, second one done. So, ugh, move that down. So then in these dishes, I'm actually going to be putting some more lettuce stubs in there. I've got a, I think, I don't remember which is which. I think this might be the green leaf one. And then this is a red leaf one. Again, I don't know if this one's gonna work just because of the way the plant was grown. It like looks super funny, so I don't know if this one's gonna work, but that's okay. So in these dishes, I'm actually gonna go ahead and just dump this water into the dirt. Hello. So I finished that and I put some water in there. I'm actually just gonna put a little bit of this in there. I don't even know if it helps, but I'm just making it up as I go along. So I'll just put in like a couple pieces. Then I'm gonna put them in the water. They just stand up just like that. Okay, so next I have this basil plant that I bought from my local grocery store and they had a couple of herbs on the same stand so I just went ahead and got some. Just take this little stick thing out and then I'm just gonna squeeze on this a tad bit to loosen it up and take it out. So I'm just gonna see how tall I need to put the dirt. Okay, I need quite a few inches on the bottom at least. I forgot to take the sticker off. try that okay so then I'm gonna go ow oh I hit my knee oh ow Ugh. okay I'm gonna go ahead and break up the roots so I'm just gonna gently squeeze all right so then make a little bit of a hole stick that in there oh my goodness this is not a good idea and now I just got to go ahead and do that with the other plants I bought this is actually a longer process than I thought. And another sticker, seriously. Next, new pot. Take the sticker off first. And a new potting pan. I don't know what these are called. A drip pan? A leakage pan? I don't know. Someone please tell me in the comments what they're called. Does it say what it's called? A saucer. Okay, apparently it's called a saucer. Terracotta saucer. That is not what I expected it to be called. I feel like a saucer is something you have in your kitchen. Although I don't even know what a saucer would be in the kitchen. Sauce. You put sauce in it? I don't know. No idea, someone needs to educate me because I don't know these things. All right, first sticker off, next sticker. Next pot is oregano. And this is smaller than the other two plants I have, the basil and the dill but it's still in the same size of this. So maybe it will grow bigger as time goes on. Um, this one feels like it's gonna be pretty easy to get out. Yeah, this one's much more moist. Whoa. I know people don't like that word. Yes, I, I am sorry. Break up your roots a bit. Ooh, you are very watery. It's like I barely touched it and water is dripping out. You are not cooperating. There you go, some dirt action going in here. Now I'm gonna add some bunny poop in here. All right, put that in there, put that in there. There you go, nice and nutritious poop for you. Oh my word, there's dirt all over the place. Ugh. Okay, first sticker, come off please. These plates are, saucers, are much, harder to get off. It like comes off in a hundred pieces. Yeah. Next, we got the dill. If they snub all of this herbs, I am not going to be happy. Look at all this hard work I'm doing for you bunnies. You should appreciate the food I made with my own hands. Break it up. Come on. Oh, you're a very dry plant. Oh, 
you have not been watered for a while. Somehow all the stickers are stuck to the bottom of my foot. Break up your roots a bit. Not too much since they're already falling apart. Okay. Sit you down in there. I need to put you in like a ponytail while I put the dirt in. Would that work? I think I would kill it. All right, put your hair away while I get the dirt in there. All right, put your hair the other way now, dude. You need a haircut. You're a little, little too crazy. Oh, it's stuck sideways. Did I kill it? Okay, well, hopefully you stand up straighter later. Well, if I get you some sun and water, then you'll stand up, stand up. For what you believe, believe. All right, so next, get the sticker off my foot. I think I have to wash every single one of these pots off. That is basically it for today's video. I am covered in plants now. I'm actually very happy with how it turned out. I think they're so pretty and I can't wait to set them up in the bunny room somewhere. Although I'm a little bit nervous that the bunny room doesn't get enough sunlight. So hopefully it does because I don't have anywhere else to put them. So that's basically it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you wanna see further gardening videos in the future, leave a comment down below and let me know. Give this video a thumbs up. If you want to be notified when I upload a new video every week, you can go ahead and hit the bell thingy. It like notifies you when I upload. I don't know. If you feel like doing that, go ahead and do that if that's your thing. But yeah, I think I should just go ahead and end this video because I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Bye.